So is Honey Miner a viable Bitcoin mining option? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got quite a few videos coming out every week in the cryptocurrency space. Also, I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so Honey Miner. I've done quite a few reviews on miners like NiceHash, Kudo Miner, BetterHash, and I haven't done one on Honey Miner, so I thought I would go ahead and do a review. So here's Honey Miner right here. It's basically a profit switching miner, one click miner, that type of deal like the other ones are. Start mining cryptocurrency right now. So, well, let's start mining. So all you would have to do is click start earning now and it will automatically download the miner to your computer. It says it right here, open the honey miner setup.exec in your download folder. Use your email to create an account and we'll send you a password. Start earning Satoshis like Bitcoin pennies immediately. So here it is, it's already downloaded. I've already got this on my NVIDIA rig. So I'm gonna pull that up real quick. Here we are. So once you download it to your computer and install it, this is what it'll look like. Pretty straightforward, clean interface, user-friendly for the beginner type miner. Uh, nice miner to get started if you're just getting into Bitcoin mining, don't really know what it's about, and you want to get your feet wet basically. So as easy as it is, all you gotta do is click Honey Miner right here. Honey Miner is off, and I just clicked a little box right there. Honey Miner is now on, and it's mining. So we can go over to settings, and here are little things that you can choose to keep on or off, keep running in tray, show notifications, show BTC value, earning when idle, earning enabled on application start. I don't like the things to pop up when I first start using Windows. I don't like stuff popping up, so I turn all that stuff off. And then you can select GPU mining or CPU mining. Of course, I have them both going right now because I want both things mining. On this rig, I got four NVIDIA cards, 1070 Ti, 1066 gig, and two 1660 Ti's. Then I have a little CPU, Intel Celeron, but it'll mine on that. Probably will mine Monero. So let me click Done. Right here, it'll give you your estimated 24-hour potential value, what you could mine. So right now I'm at $2.73 or 24,435 Satoshis. This is what I've mined today right here, July 7th. As you can see, I just started mining and these were referral mining commissions from the past couple of days. As you can see, I got 122 referrals. Current balance, 1,500 Satoshis. I think that's roughly a penny or so or something of that nature. So if we want to see what this is mining, click on settings again, and we can go over to minor console and click on that. And it'll pop this little console off screen. I can move it back over to here. Sorry, it'd be a little bit laggy. And the CPU right here is mining Monero, and it'll give you the hash rate and things of that nature. And go over to the GPUs, and it's mining Ethereum right now. I'm not really quite sure how many different algorithms it can mine. I think it's pretty much just sticks with Ethereum. Could be wrong. If anyone else knows that and is watching down below, let me know. But I've pretty much only seen it mining Ethereum. So I think that's about all it does. So that's it for the settings. So this little bonus right here, Satoshi's. 815 XP until your next level, which my next level is 28. And you can see next bonus is 13 Satoshis. I think how that works is the longer you have your miner, honey miner open and running, that bonus level will continue to go up. And then once you get to the next bonus level, all those bonus Satoshis will get, you know, deposited into your account. And next level 29 will probably be a little bit harder to get to. And of course, then you'll get more Satoshi. So I think the higher levels you go, the more bonus Satoshis you will get. At least that's my understanding. 
So let's go ahead and hop in and check out the back office of Honeyminer. So I'm already logged in. I'll just click on accounts. So this is the back office. And as you can see, 1,502 Satoshis, just like you saw in the other one. This shows you your mining credits, what you're mining, referral mining credits, stuff like that. Click on activity. And this will show you how many GPUs you got going, how many computers maybe you have running right now. Like this is my laptop. And as you can see, I'm not mining on my laptop right now, so I got zero Satoshis. If we go over to money, you can go ahead and click withdraw right here. And just put your BTC wallet address in here, how much you want to take out. And it's pretty straightforward. You need a minimum of 2,500 Satoshis to withdraw. So that's a pretty low withdrawal requirements so I like that very user friendly especially for people who are new to mining and recent transactions again just shows you all the mining that's going on click on money again so this will take you to the recent activity mining about ten dollars eighty nine cents referrals dollar thirty one bonuses seventy two cents in bonuses sixty four hundred satoshi so that's what I was talking about with the little bonus levels right here, that's what's going to show up right there. I did do a little breakdown between different profit switching miners, Nice Hash, Better Hash, Kudo Miner, and Honey Miner. If you guys haven't seen that, the link should be popping up above here, and it'll also be at the end of this video as well. Just a little comparison I run between the miners to see which one is the best. Uh, one last thing I wanted to get into is... Right here, Hotel Honey, add more GPU. So you can actually buy mining power through them. And I will tell you right off the bat, probably not a good idea. So we'll go over to here. Hotel Honey, access on-demand GPUs to mine cryptocurrency and more. So you can choose how much mega hash. You can only get F hash right now, which is basically Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. So 25 mega hash will cost you $66 for three months. So let's go and check and see if that's even worth it. So here we are on what to mine. Let's go ahead and click 25 mega hash and it's going to cost me $66. There's going to be no power costs associated and no power. So all I'm going to do is click calculate right there. So in one month, you're going to make $17.23. So you're only getting it for three months at $66. So $17. Dot two three times three months, you're only going to make fifty one dollars sixty nine cents at the current price of Ethereum. So as of right now, that's not a good deal at all. Now, if Ethereum should happen to double in the future, then yeah, that would probably be a viable option. I wouldn't wouldn't see a problem with maybe purchasing that in a three month span. Doubles, you'd be making a hundred some bucks for sixty six dollars. But as of right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that. So that's just my own personal opinion. I don't know why you would, but you can get up to 2,500 mega hash if that's what you wanted. Again, let's go ahead and check that out. It costs you $6,270. And I did the math earlier. You'll only be getting about 5,100. So again, not a good idea to go to Hotel Honey, at least not right now. So if you all are interested in Honey Miner, there's a link, download link in the description. Go ahead, download it, check it out, run it on your computer. It'll see what kind of graphics cards you have, maybe high-end CPU, and see what you can earn for yourself with Honey Miner. Let me know down below what your estimated earnings are. I think I'm going to let mine run for a while because I'm interested to see this bonus and how it fully works so i think i'm going to let it run and see how many bonus satoshis i get and i'll put an update to that uh, maybe a pinned comment below this video when i hit that next level and i'll let you all know the bonus satoshis okay so be sure to check out the minor cup video that should be popping up here shortly if you guys have any questions or comments put them down below i'll be sure to get back to you thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one take care bye